ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cow's channel where we play video games. Today, I've got a really great one for you. This is Front Mission First, the remake of a game that launched mecha team-based combat strategy RPG, whatever you want to say. It's not really an RPG, it's more of a strategy game. Uh, this is a alternate world where we have Wanzers, which is a German-made walking panzer, hence the, you know, Wanzer. Panzer means tank, if you don't understand German. <laughs> it's the Jedi stumpy robots, and they move, and they shoot, and they scoot, and they do all kinds of fun, and we are going to be playing this game. I've done a sound check, but as always, I will warn you before I do... The beginning of a playthrough. I am partially deaf. I do a sound check as best as I can, but I usually only make one to two episodes and put them up. If you think it's too loud, too soft, whatnot, just let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to get that adjusted for the remainder of this playthrough. But we, yeah, I'm gonna need the tutorial. Ooh. Enemy hit points and damage reduced. I don't think we need all this. Enemy hit points are increased. That's interesting. Oh, their damage goes up too. What? God in heaven! See, my friend Bowser Kurga uh, was streaming this a little before I finally got off work, and I can do this. And if you're from my work, I was totally not watching a stream during working hours, don't worry. And uh, he had said something about the difficulty, and God, nine times the damage and 100% more, nine times the hit points, and you want to talk about sponge. We don't need recruit. We could do the modern, which gives us a perspective view of the camera, freedom, tactical map, fix and improve. Or you could just play the normal way it used to be. We're going modern. That's the whole point of these remakes, man. A loading screen on a cartridge? Or well, not say even cartridge. It's, uh, I downloaded this, but, you know, whatever's. Welcome to Hoffman Island, Lieutenant. By the way, the intro to this game just was just a bunch of cutscenes of, like, uh, brains and text and God knows what it's even implying, but... I'm Sergeant Glenn Duval, your personal wanted to know for today, sir. Do I outrank my instructor? Just call me Royd. You're older than me. and You've been serving in the service for longer than I have. Alright, Lieutenant. I mean, Royd. I don't usually take part in training exercises like these, but the brass thinks you show great promise as a wanzer pilot, so it asked me to train you. Thanks, shouldn't I have already been trained before I got deployed? Still, I wonder, I've never seen a lieutenant as young as you. How did you do it? Just luck, I guess. I made it alive from all the hot zones they kept sending me into. Oh, maybe I got promoted from my infantry. And now you're on Huffman, another potential hot zone. Personally, I'd say you have rotten luck. Depends on how you look at it, Sergeant. Now, are you going to show me this? what this walking coffin can do? Okay, let's start with the basics. I doubt you have great survival... I don't doubt you have great survival skills on the battlefield, but applying them to a wanzer will require a lot of practice. No doubt. First, let's try moving your wanzer. When you select a unit, its movement range is blue squares, cover... Okay. And we'll move you to a new position... Terrain affects movement, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we see there's grass, there's dirt, and it gives you tires. Oh, well, there's other vehicles in these games too, so yeah. Terrain also varies degree of cover. Cover will give you defensive bonus. On, and, yeah, the desert has 3% cover. It ain't, it's got no cover. Learn to capitalize on these points, you're halfway to win. Let's put the, move to the green square. Okay. Tactical map, in-game menu, hide status balls, change units, navigation, machine, submit, cancel, uh, command window, okay, I think we'll be okay. Oh, wow. Alright, and... Oh, I need to use the stick for a little more control than the D-pad. Oh, God! I can haul! <laughs> oh, right. I'm used to most strategy games making you select.
Moving your wanders shouldn't be a problem. Let's cover basic wander combat. They can be equipped with a weapon in each hand. You can also mount weapons and shields on the shoulder. You can only use one of these when you attack. There's also three ta types. Melee, short, and long. Let's have you actually attack something before we explain any further. Oh, I thought he was on top of that thing for a second. There's your target. The option to attack will appear when a target is within range of one of your weapons. All targets in range are designated by a red square. Select the square to target, choose the weapon, and then when you're satisfied, hit OK. Attack the target with the weapon. Do I have weapons? I didn't. Yeah, they used to, they used that, do I have items? I have repair, ooh. Oh god. Oh well, he's coming at me. So I can either punch him or I can use this machine gun. So, if you're not understanding what you're seeing, on the machine gun, 4x6 means it's going to shoot a burst of 6. I believe it's going to shoot 4 to 6. Accuracy is 74, One. I don't actually know. I can also guard if I'm like, I just don't want to. I think it shoots four times and six damage each. Well, this is only one punch, but it's nine damage. Next one is my accuracy. I think it's men and max range and then ammo. Let's try this. Yep, four times. And I already took out his arm, as you can see. Short range attacks are the bread and butter of Wanta combat. The number of attacks performed and their damage differ by weapon type. Now attack with a different weapon. Oh, I got XP. So I'm just going to punch him. So you can see that. Ow. And I took out his body. When you take out the enemy wanders bottle body, you win. Melee attacks are used to focus damage on one location. You do not usually get to aim. That's one of the things about front mission. These are big, beefy robots. If you have the proficiency level, you can even attack before they... Notice he used a machine gun. Since I'm not very proficient in melee, he got to shoot me as I ran up to him. Yeah! Suck it! Great work, but AR points want you to face on the battlefield. For your final training, you have to face me. By the way, there are repair items. You select and use them as you want to. Uh-oh. I need some water. Oh, I thought he'd be smart enough to, uh... How am I doing on my... I think we're okay. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. I can attack. Bone. Oh, this is the long range missile. You see, it's going to shoot two times, 76% accuracy, 14 damage for each time it hits. I've only got three rounds, but it's three to five spaces. Yeah! Oh, God! It's not telling me what he's doing. I'm gonna run in and punch him. He gets to go first just because he's got a uh, machine gun anyway. Does he use my turn to use an item? I guess it's be better to figure this out now. Yeah, it is your turn to use an item. Right, attack, attack, go to sound of my cat, and the enemy goes splat. <laughs> they weren't kidding when they said you had talent. No wonder you made lieutenant so fast. Thanks. But I can tell you were holding back, Sergeant. Why? I'm sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. You see, I have a childhood friend who's now in the UCS Army, and he's about your age. A friend in the UCS? Yeah, we were both born and raised on Huffman before all this hate between the OCU and the UCS flip. If you don't know, Huffman is an island that was created in the South Pacific due to like a volcano. 
in a very strategic location. The OCU is like the Oceanic Confederate Unity or something, Union, something like that. And it's made up of like Japan, Australia, and a bunch of other southeastern uh, countries in Southeast Asia. The UCS is the United Continental States. It's The United States is literally the head of a super unit of North and South America. Those were good days. They used to like share it and then there was a war that broke out prior to this game called the Huffman Conflict. You felt like you were aiming a weapon at his friend, so you held back? I guess so. I really hope there's another war on this island, Royd. Uh-oh. Many people have friends and family on the other side. Oh, before I forget, I have orders from command for you. You've been promoted to the rank of captain and been appointed leader of your own recon squad. Again, welcome to Huffman, Captain. Mission complete! I got a kill bonus of 170 Huffman bucks, apparently. Okay, so, the second Huffman caught the sing through the eyes of Captain Roy Clive of the OCU Army. This is recommended for your first time. But then you can also, on a subsequent one, do the UCS side through the eyes of Lieutenant Kevin Greenfield. I'm going to do the OCU first, even though USA, baby. But if I'm loving this game enough, we will come back and we'll do the UCS. Uh, Roy is okay because I want him to keep... Uh, I want to be... Oh, you got hit. Confirm. Call sign. Ooh. Uh, I don't really care for a call sign. I am very much not uh, <laughs> creative right now. Manasa. Mission briefing 2100. Board a light submarine in the Huffman Island city of Manisa in Oceania. Cooperative Union Territory. Yeah, this is this entire island is split with them and the Union. Rendezvous at Waypoint, 30 clicks offshore of Fort Monos in UCS territory. Transfer to a camouflage cargo ship and proceed to covert reconnaissance operation of UCS. Marine. I've got a bad feeling about this. Located in the Locust District, in light of recent tensions between the two nations, you are prohibited from engaging any hostile actions toward the use. Then why are you sending giant robots? Man, the OCU is stupid. I should have chosen America. Wanzers, however, are my spirit animal. This is Rabbit 1. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet, maybe. I don't see anyone. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Royd. I'll be fine. Lieutenant Minu is a capable soldier, Captain. I know you two are engaged, but you should not worry yourself so. Uh-oh. Yes, I know. Thanks. Now clear comms. Apologies, Captain, but I have to wonder. Why go to all this trouble, violating the treaty even, to run recon this rundown factory? All I can say is this is part of someone's agenda and I don't like... This is really stupid, by the way. Th this factory. What's wrong, Karen? I can't believe they... This isn't... This isn't right. Karen, report! Uh-oh. 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 What is that? <laughs> Enemy wanders, but how? We didn't pick them up earlier. We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. You're right on time. Now let us see how well they... I'm getting the sense that this is not the UCS, but since the OCU is violating the treaty with this recon in mechs, that this is going to start another conflict. And then and show this to you again just to like... Uh, Oh, I can always do this. That's cool. In case you need to, like, quickly check your bodies. Move your body. Every, everybody. Move your... <laughs> that was weird. 
I'm not gonna end the player phase. Oh, see, I got a, just a random guy here. Looks like you can move through friendly units with no penalty. Karen, get out. Oh, I can't control her. Oh my god. What? I I'm surrounded. Good night! Well done. A new pilot's first reaction to incoming fire is to cover their eye camera. Not the torso where the cockpit is. What? The he took out both arms and the legs with that barrage. What is this monstrosity in them? Alas, that valiant effort will be in vain. This is probably bad for me. Karen, hang on! Really? Roy, no! Stay back! There's no possible way I'm getting to her in time. I'm going as fast as these damn things will let me, but I'm just- I can't come- What am I supposed to do when I get there? The black one alone has firepower beyond anything I can match. Speed level one. Well, shoot. And he's got 250 hit points on his body. What am I supposed to do against that? Karen? Karen! Yeah, here they come. I gotta stop using the D-pad for this, it's too annoying. Much easier to just use the stick. I don't think these guys are UCS. I mean, I know it's kind of a obvious thing for, uh oh. We're a little outnumbered. I am hopeful that this means that we will Firing the bone, baby. You'll pay for this! Well, that was really good, except for the miss, but... What, uh... I have a machine gun... and a punch, but they're both melee weapon. They can only be used at range one. Oh, no, that is a, like, shotgun-style weapon, actually. Excuse me. What do you have? You have... Oh, he's got a launcher, too, but he is, uh... There you go. That's dangerous as all hell. Oh my god, I one shot at him. <laughs> now let's see what this can do. Not a lot, because he was guarding. Let's have some fun. Do you have items? I really hate to use it now, but... 
I'm at less than half hit points and a couple of lucky shots to my body is all they need. Oh god. Ow! On my feet. Okay, I need to move up and in and just way on these guys. You can, apparently cannot counterattack at long range. Engage! Engage! Oh, wow. Well, he has no right arm, but unfortunately for me, that doesn't help because he does not have... Well, there's this guy's no good. Let's just start praying. Damn it. Ow! I'm doing all right, I guess. I get to shoot first. And yeah. Cuz we met unless you have enough ranks in melee like they said in the tutorial, you don't get to go first. Oh, damn. Well, I'm too close to use the Oh, maybe he's out. Hang on a second. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, that's spam. Somebody's calling me with spam. I don't care about them. You get l very limited long range stuff, so you gotta. Coming for you, big guy. Nope. No legs for you. I believe in this game, if your legs get destroyed, you uh, only have one movement. Is there any reason for him to have a punch? It is higher accuracy, so if you really need to hit. But the rifle... Ow. Come here. You little squirt. Either I win, or you have no arm. I win! This should be enough. Now to cleanse this place with righteous fire. What? Captain, stand back! Oh, well, shoot. That's bad. June 3rd, 2090. The Locus Incident. The Unified Continental States publicly accused the Oceanic Cooperative Union of sending wanders on a mission to destroy military factories. The OCU responded by denying any involvement with the attack and accused them of staging an entire incident. Diplomatic efforts for a peaceful solution eventually failed and Huffman became the center stage for a war between the two superpowers. Thus began the second Huffman conflict. As we saw, we shouldn't have been there. I don't think that is the uh, United continental states though I think that we got set up by a third player it's probably the ones of pilots who were present at the site were reclassified as MIA during exercises aside from a handful of top-level army officials only these pilots have any knowledge of the actual events that occurred in Rockets yeah this is probably bad for the island's resale value a year after the Lockers incident in the Berendin district of Hoffman Island, OCU territory. So yeah, we definitely somebody got us there in Wanzers, and then probably who used an insider on the OCU side to set us up in Mex, and then uh, came in that because that one Mech was way too big. Then they blew up the factory, which makes no sense for the UCS. I think we got set up to take the fall because somebody wanted to start a war between two superpowers. But 
Even though it's a little short, that's what we're going to call this episode, you guys, because I don't want to go on for too terribly long. I will see you in the next episode. If you enjoy this and want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I will try not to ask you to do that too terribly much. Thank you all so much, and let's go on. I'll see you on the next episode.